Hey, what's going on guys? It's Soldier Knows Best here. Here giving you a sneak peek of the brand new um, big update that's coming to the Xbox 360. As far as the dashboard is concerned, it's going to be bringing Facebook, Twitter, Last.fm, um, the Zoom Marketplace, 1080p streaming, all this good stuff. I'm going to go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing I'm going to show you is Facebook. Now, uh, this update is going to be coming for a lot of uh, users, uh, for everybody here very short. I think within the next month or two months. Uh, but I am part of the, this little sneak preview program here, so I'm very anxious to get on. It's probably it's like 12:30 here in the morning. I need to hurry up and get to sleep for work. But anyway, I'm gonna show you here Facebook here, and uh, so it still has almost all the functionality of the regular Facebook, uh, which you'll find on the uh, on your regular internet uh, connection, computer or phone, whatever you use it on. Uh, so you have the home screen, the news feed, again keeping track of all your friends, just like you'll see it when you first log into Facebook. And you can choose if you have a comment or whatever somebody's doing, you can choose to still like it if you want to. Also, you can leave a comment on there as well. So that's good. Uh, to get back to the Facebook home, just press the uh, Y button or the yellow button. Look at your photo albums on here. The photos look nice and crisp and clean on here. And these are photos right here I just took with my iPhone 3GS. And so these will actually look pretty good on here. That's not bad for a camera. Uh, but anyway, there it is. And you can choose to play those as a slideshow as well if you wanted to. And again, you can leave comments and stuff like that on your videos as well. You can look to see what Facebook friends are on Xbox Live and vice versa. You can look at all your friends list as well. See who all is on your friends list. See what they're doing. Actually go to their uh, go to their profile if you wanted to. So you want to go to the profile. You can look at it here. Look at the folder albums if you wanted to. You can do all the same things again like you'll be able to do Facebook on the regular internet. And, you know, as far as the application itself, as far as the Facebook application on here, it works pretty well, it works pretty fast, pretty solid, um, pretty clean, cut to the point, you know, cut to the chase. And uh, so that's it. That's Facebook application. So it works well. You can update your status on here to let all your friends what you're doing right on the Xbox 360. So Facebook for the 360, I'll give it a thumbs up. Next, what am I going to show you? I'm going to show you Twitter. Uh, so Twitter has full Twitter integration into the 360. And I really think this is, um, this is what I'm probably going to be using the most on here out of all these updates here. And let me go ahead and find it here. I wish it was a little bit easier to find. I wish you can just you know access it from pressing the Xbox uh, Guide button here, but can't do that not yet. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and log into Twitter here. And I, I set it to automatically remember me on this uh, 360. And then you can do the same thing with Facebook. And so you look at your, your past 49 tweets from all your friends, the people you're following here. And so I'm going to go ahead and uh, look at something that Kiara is doing to see what Kiara is doing. And uh, I can look at this tweet if I want to reply to it, retweet it. I can do it straight from here. If I want to look at a profile, I can go ahead and look at a profile too and see who she's following. Um, uh, look at all her followers if I want to see what's going on there. I can also choose to unfollow her, which I think I might. No, I'm not going to do that. Uh, send a direct message, all that good stuff. So all, all the functionality, the full functionality of Twitter is here. And um, also, you can update your status from it as well. And um, let me see what I'm going to send here. Now, I really think, like I said, I really think I'm going to get that little uh, keyboard attachment for the uh, controller here now, especially since Twitter is on here. I can go ahead and quickly update it. And I don't know why I'm taking so long this video to do this, but if you get this tweet, you know what I was doing. All right, send that sent for my 360, and it's refreshing, so it should pop up here at the top. And there it is, sent for my 360, right there. Uh, you can also search on Twitter, look at the trending topics as well. There it is, Halloween, good night, which I need to be going to sleep again. And there it is. So uh, that's Twitter for the 360. I think that's probably going to be the most used application out of all of them. And let's go to, oh, yeah, the Zoom Marketplace. So the Zoom Marketplace is where you can actually stream 1080p video um, and to your Xbox 360 on your X HD TV, and so I already have. Um, you can rent movies, um, you can buy the movies, uh, TV shows, all that good stuff you can do. So I already rented the Watchmen, very good movie in HD, and you can choose to actually um, just download it straight to your Xbox 360 hard drive, so you can get the full 1080p quality, not dependent on your internet connection, or you can choose to stream it like I'm streaming right now. And basically, the quality is again is going to depend on your internet connection. But my internet connection has been when they ran the first initial test. I am getting 1080p, so that's good. 
and the, the picture looks great you know it does have surround sounds so if you have a good speaker system it will sound good on there but the picture actually looks pretty good you can go full screen from here I like I like this ratio here uh, but the quality of the the video is absolutely great and um, so you can do different things like have also a party as well just like it's pretty much Netflix but 1080p and and um, it's a little bit more smooth integration especially with the zoom marketplace um, but you can have a party of seven people watching the same movie or TV show at the same time just like you're in a movie theater or a room together um, and also if you say I'm watching it right now I'm a 360 since I'm renting it and I do have a zoom HD if I want to finish this on my zoom HD if I'm going out of town or got just gotta leave I can do, do that too and also, if I want to move it to my Windows PC, my Media Center, uh, Microsoft Media Center, I can do the same thing with that as well. So this is very good, and uh, I might be actually finding myself using this probably more than Netflix because the quality, I think, is actually, the quality is better because it's 1080p, and you can see it looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and get out of that. You can resume, start forward, rewind, all that good stuff. You can watch all the uh, trails for the movies as well in here. So that's the Zoom Marketplace. Uh, look at the featured movies. So it looks all oh, just just like uh, Netflix. So, but with a couple extra things and definitely better uh, picture quality. And the last thing I'm gonna show you here is the last .fm, which is uh, basically like a, a radio, your own little personal uh, radio station that you can have on here. And so you need to go ahead and create your last .fm account. You can create it right in your 360 itself. And it takes probably about a couple minutes to do that. And the cool thing with Last FM, and um, you can look at the the popular uh, station. It keep coming up with this. It cannot contact Last FM error, but it, I can. Uh, but um, you can look at the popular stations if you wanted to to see what people are listening to. And um, I'm surprised they even got a Kanye West one, depending on all what happens. But I'm going to go ahead and go to this Jay Z one here, and it's going to buffer real quick. Drake, best I ever had. Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, you can see the pictures loading up here, and uh, you can choose to skip through the song. We're actually trying to get a Jay Z song, but I'm not getting a Jay Z. I'm getting Ti. It looks like just people kind of in the same uh, same ram as Jay Z looks like here. But anyway, it it works. It works decent. And so you can look at all different type of music genres on here. You can choose to actually buy the music if you want to. Uh, if you find something that you listen to that you want, uh, they have a lot of different tag station, gamer station, all that good stuff. I really like this. Uh, press the blue button, got a little playlist in here. You can actually control it from here. But that is last.fm. So last.fm, all these things are free, minor updates. So this has been a sneak peek at this. I'll keep an eye on here, see if anything new, new things pop up here. But again, for all 360 owners out here, it'll be available here very shortly for y'all. But this has been Soldier Knows Best, and I will catch you later. Peace.